Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to pass different data sets to the different users in a thread group. So on the screen, you can see I have a thread named with login. So this is uh, basically I am uh, using for the login of a site called automation practice and uh, you can see the PHP uh, PHP file which is called uh, for the login. So this is used for the login into the automation practice dot com. You can see the URL here. So. Here you can see the username which is email uh, and the password. So these are hard coded. So. So there may be a case like uh, in the real time there will be n number of users who will log in. Uh, into the website and all of them will have a different email address and also a different password. So in this case, we need to pass a different data sets to the different users. So how to do that? So uh, first of all, let us consider uh, we are log. We are, uh, there are multiple users who are doing the login, which means that we should consider um, multiple users here. For example, I'm considering three num three is the number of users or the load. On the uh, uh, automation practice login. So so we need here three uh, email ID and three passwords. So for that we need to create a CSV file in any location. We need to create a CSV file and you we should have a two columns. One is with username and one is with the password. And as we have discussed, we are doing the load of three users. You can have a three rows having username and password. Here the first row indicates the variable name. So username is the variable name and also the password is also the variable name and the values from starting from the row number two are the values of that variables. So once we create the CSV file and having the values in that. You should go to thread group here the login thread group and click on add. And in the add you can see the config element go to the config element and select CSV data set config. So here you can see the file name. So in the file name. Uh, field use the browse button here. And you should go to the location where we have created a CSV file. So here select the data dot CSV which I have created. Click on open. So that's it. So once we have done that. So we should tell the geometer those variables. As we discussed here, the username is the variable for email. So in the email uh, field, then the value I have to input. So uh, we have to uh, tell the geometry it's a variable. So the way to tell the geometry it's a variable is you should give a dollar symbol followed by bracket and give the variable name, which is username in this case and close bracket. And similarly for the password dollar followed by bracket. And. Variable name which is password from the CSV file. And save it. So now we are ready to run. Let me move the CSV data config upside. And we can right click and start. Now the geometry is running, so it will run for three users. So now you should pick the different usernames or different mail IDs and also different passwords. So we should go to the request. So here you can see it has picked uh, 722 and also password 123 for one of the users. And also. For one of the user, you can see 720 web tech 720. And you see other user. Which is 721. So that is web tech 721. 
So these three are coming from the Excel sheet. So like this, you can have a uh, n number of usernames and also uh, the passwords, and you can pass the variable name to the JMeter so that it picks up the values according to the variable names. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more videos.